my problem when I get in here. I'm like, oh my gosh. Some of the prices I just can't say no to. It would just be foolish to leave these things behind. Okay, well we are here today at Black Rose of Hanover. And we're sitting outside because I just finished eating my lunch. But we're gonna head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. This sign is confusing to me. Black Rose Antiques and Collectibles Old and New. Well, I guess collectibles could be old and new, but antiques are antiques. <laughs> like reading it as I'm walking up, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> All right, let's head in. All right, well, I'm really switching it up this time. I'm going right down the middle row. <laughs> Normally, I go right. Last time I went left. This time we're going down the middle. I don't even think I came down this way the last time, so. Ooh. What is that? I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. That is beautiful. Fenton Aqua Iridescent Holly Plate. Look at the colors on that. Wow. That is beautiful. It's $39.99. I mean, I'm tempted. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna buy it. If it doesn't have the resale value, I'll keep it for myself. I think it's stretch glass, um, which is a little bit different than Carnival. It, it has to do with the heating process, I believe. We're gonna stick that in here. That is beautiful. Oh, I right. <laughs> just walked right up on that. My eye went straight to it. Look at this little fella. This is $14.99. Puppy dog face. I don't think I've ever seen a dog face before. Seeing all sorts of new things. Puppy dog face. A few satin glass fairy lights up there. This isn't really nice. This is, I was gonna say this is Wayne Husted. <laughs> I knew that. I feel good knowing that. $59.99 on that. Which of this glows? Vaseline spun glass face. That would be great for my glowy sale on whatnot. I just don't know about shipping it. That's why that's where I'm like, ooh. Decisions, decisions. And does it glow? I mean, it does say Vaseline glass. That would be an indicator that it glows. $99.99. I don't know. See, I just, with the prices of swung glass, I'm so confused by them. I really haven't been able to figure out the values because I haven't really paid the prices. <laughs> I was buying it before it was cold. Right. Well, let's look over here. There's a jack in the pulpit. Two of them. $44.99. Gonna keep moving. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have put those on top of each other. That's safer. What is this little creature? Oh my goodness, 350. This is royal something. Hand painted. Oh, he's so darling. A little chip. And there, I did notice there was a repair on the pedal. Normally the pedals are completely broken off though. And I love that his face looks like a strawberry. I think that's why I was drawn to it. Strawberry face bird. I'll take you with me. Ooh, maybe. Okay, there we go. Are those Bakelite? I don't know. I don't know Bakelite that well. These are pretty. Lennox. Butterfly Meadow. Some fake rose fell. Everybody always asks me, how do you know it's fake? By looking at it. Um, I really don't have an answer for that. I guess I've seen so much real Roseville that it's just obvious to me the way the, the colors don't blend. 
looks like somebody painted it right on there. Let's go this way. That looks like the swan that mom put in our booth. This one's nine bucks. That's pretty. I think we could probably make some money on that. I'm gonna sit it down to check out this creamer though. That's beautiful. I love the white threading on that. Look, you can see um, remnants of the pontal. I don't think that's necessarily remnants of the pontal, but um, of the molten schmutz <laughs> left there in the rough pontal. That's a really neat creamer. I'll take that. As long as the threading isn't chipped. You always have to check because um, the threading will chip off really easily on pieces like this. This is, seems to be intact and it's only seven bucks. Better than thrift store prices. That's why I keep coming back. Okay, well let's circle around the outside. Oh, look at all the little voids. Aren't these voids? I think they are, right? Yes, the B in the triangle or whatever. These ones glow. I'm trying to think if there's a black light here anywhere. I don't remember any booths that have the black light. Hmm. I don't really see anything screaming to me, take me home. I've spotted Lucite. What do we have on these? Oh, is it for the both of them maybe? $15 for the pair. I think we should pick those up with the abalone shell, handmade in Florida with genuine abalone shells. Yeah, why not? Oh my gosh, what is that? It's a Betsy Johnson octopus bird. <laughs> what? Is it a purse? It has a little suction cup on it. What does it do? It's a cosmetic case. Oh my gosh. Listen, I already imagine Juliet claiming this, so <laughs> don't get your hopes up that it's going to show up on eBay, but this is the coolest. Oh, that was supposed to be a lamp. I'm like, what is that cute little vase over there? <gasps> is that a pickle? Oh no, it's asparagus. I guess it's kind of interesting either way. <laughs> of course it's Avon. <laughs> It's asparagus soap. It's got a nice scent of asparagus. It's wonderful. It's probably expired by a few years. All right, let's go this way. We'll head over towards this booth. I don't even know which direction I'm going in anymore. I'm all over the place. <laughs> kind of bouncing all over. Lots of books. Juliet actually started reading Nancy Drew books. $19 on this. Burcraft, Huntington, Indiana. Hand carved and colored. That is pretty. A little bit of Candlewick. Dolls. I'm feeling like the octopus was our find of the day. Very small ice chest porcelain liner. Can't get the little. <laughs> All right, I don't want to force it. I don't want to break the little knobby thing off, so I'm going to leave it. do we have over here? This is neat. It's an Icabana. Is that Louisville? It is Louisville. I love that. Ooh. 
Murano Bowl. Isn't he kind of charming? It's signed. It is signed. Yeah, okay. Maybe we should cushion him with our octopus. And then this, what is this? Green and pink egg shaped paperweight. That is beautiful. Look at the clarity in that paperweight. That is stunning. By clarity, I mean there's not a whole lot of like bubble inclusions. And the spiral is almost perfect. So you can tell that's a quality paperweight and the bottom is smooth. So regardless of where it's made, it's a nice piece of glass and it is $24. I just love this booth. Belgium. This is really cute with those dainty flowers. Forgive me nots. Oh, I really like that. How much was it? <laughs> Do I need more art pottery? Probably not. NPM. Oh gosh, I've had some of this before. I recognize that mark. That NPM. Maybe I've actually looked at this piece before. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'm remembering. Mountain Meadows Pottery. Now they have it ID'd. So I'm wondering if I have a piece a shop with MPM on it. Or if I'm just remembering looking at this. I really love the dainty flowers on that, so I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna stick it down here. I moved the um I moved that piece of pendant down here. I thought it would be a little bit safer down there. Bell St. Lambert. Oh it's heavy. And it's signed. Pink is in right now, right? Everybody's telling me that. Meanwhile, I didn't know if Margot Robbie was a girl or a boy. I just, Andrew said the name and I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. I'm sure he was great in the movie. <laughs> oh boy. That is beautiful, isn't it? Oh, glass is my weakness. Okay. All right, I think I'm gonna get out of this booth before I spend too much money. Let's keep moving. Found a contender for our weirdo sale. Oh my god. Ten bucks. <laughs> oh shoot. Well, you know if I uh, can't stop laughing, that means that that's a good weirdo. That is fantastic. I, is it a short tailed lizard? Did part of his tail break off? I don't know the answers. All I know is that's a great weirdo and he's only $10. Let's see what else we can find back here in this nook. No, there were, for the longest time I didn't even come into this booth. And then there was one time where I was like, I'll go and check it out. And I found so many awesome pieces. And now this has become a staple on my trips here. I'm like, oh, I gotta go. I could poke around in that booth, see if there's anything fresh. That looks like a made in China. Yes, it actually says made in China. I think that was here the last time. This puppy dog is very sweet. That dish. Hmm. Flowers on it. I don't know that pattern. Huh. What are you doing up there? <laughs> we bought a bowl from Murano. Maybe we need another bowl from Mexico. Come here, you. He looks like he came from Mexico. He is 89. He says Murano, but I'm like 95% certain that this is Mexico. Usually when I find these slag glass bowls, they're usually Mexico. I could be wrong. I could be. 
don't know why I'm bringing him out here. I guess I just want to get a closer look at him in the light. <laughs> I don't know if I could pay 89 for him. He's very cool though, isn't he? <laughs> he's, got an exp he's got quite the expression. I think it's the expression that's doing it for me. He's just got like a friendly expression on his face. He's nicer than other examples I've seen, but I think I want to put him back up there. Here we are in the CCL booth. Can't really see it because of the sun. Check out this guy. That is $5.99. The reason why I love this booth. See it's signed there. Can't quite make out the signature though, but it is made in Mexico. See what else we can find. It's a beautiful vase. I'll check that out in a minute. To look over here. Yeah, and on a nest. Five dollars and fifty cents on that. Yeah, we'll grab that as well. Those are cute cookie jars. Some pretty glass bottles. I'm gonna set down the chicken for a second and check this out. Looks like there's a seam on that one. So it's not terribly old, but it is cool looking. Let's grab this. I'm grabbing the blue one. I'm going to leave the clear one behind. That's really pretty. Painted pen. Not that I don't already have enough jewelry, but I like that. I like that. Okay, we're going to check out this vase, right? Minton. Hmm. It's more contemporary Minton, but it is Minton. $22. Haddon Hall. Curious. I would try to look it up, but my signal in here is so bad. I have to be in just the right place in here to get a signal. problem when I get in here. I'm like, oh my gosh, some of the prices I just can't say no to. It would just be foolish to leave these things behind. How neat is that? I love the colors. All right, I'll stick that in here. Vestoria St. Alexis Canary Vaseline candlestick, $32. That looks like it would glow. Actually, quite a few things in here look like they would glow. <laughs> but I don't know if I could be 32 on that. Because I've never heard of it before. Um, let's check this over here. This is a tree trunk base from Northwood, I think. 29 Marigold. It's kind of a neat piece. I'm trying to think. I might grab this. Oh, and then Rose Medallion. Lacey up, so 1970s. Doesn't have any real age to it. I feel like I've looked through this booth before, but I don't remember the glass. The bird is Ellie Smith. That's a Ellie Smith satin glass bird. This is only $9.50. And I know this one glows because I bought and sold it before. We'll grab that for nine dollars and fifty cents. We're just gonna tuck it in here with the rest of our glass and our weirdo guy. All right. Well, our total spend there it was three hundred and forty-one dollars, and I feel like we got some really great stuff. You know, I always say that we get some better than thrift store prices here, and it holds true every single time. And it's it gets in my head that it's like I would be stupid to leave this behind because I would be paying more for it at Goodwill. <laughs> so, so I'm taking it with me um, and we had a f quite a few pieces like that so anyway I'm gonna get out of here now I'm probably gonna grab some Starbucks and head back to the shop because today is Monday and I want to get a head start on my eBay listings of course I'm gonna film a video of that but you'll see that before you'll see this so this is how it goes the videos are out of order but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see all of you tomorrow so long